Hello guys, um, <clears throat> this is another multiplayer video, but it's not for my other multiplayer work which I've been doing recently, this is for my old plugin. Now I haven't given up on the plugin, but I definitely stopped development on it for a while because I thought it really reached its main potential. Interestingly, whilst doing my other multiplayer setup, I noticed that I was getting some bottlenecks and I worked on it <clears throat> and I found out a bug, or rather not a bug, but just a simple conceptual error I'd missed out on. Essentially what this is, is that when you're polling a socket for a packet, it will only yield one packet at a, t at a time, because it's the most efficient way of doing things. But it means that if you have more than one packet left in your buffer, that's retrieved the next time you call the packet buffer. And because of the inherent uh, problems that you get with using while loops in the Blender game engine, I never really sort of investigated this. But it turns out that by polling the socket until it's empty, you can actually improve the latency and your, or improve the performance of your connection, because most of the time you won't run out of processing time, it's just the, the network bandwidth. So I was getting idle packets. Now, you remember the last time we did this, I could get about six clients at a push before lag would start to happen. And I'm going to see if this works with the screen recorder, because it might not. But essentially, I should be able to get all these clients working at the same time. And you should be able to see that the screens do, uh, they only lag on the upstream, so they're all in sync with each other. Uh, they, they do lag relative to the one player who's controlling them. That's just because of the way. So actually, with the, with the recorder, it's not too bad. It should be better than this. And last but not least. If I do this without the recording, I'll notice even better performance. I'll update you shortly.